actor and comedian John Bird has died aged 86, his representatives have confirmed. Bird was part of the TV satire boom of the 1960s, and well known for his many appearances opposite John Fortune. The pair memorably appeared alongside Rory Bremner in the Channel 4 TV series Bremner, Bird and Fortune. Co-star Bremner led the tributes to Bird, telling the BBC his former co-star, had this brilliant instinct for absurdity, and the sharpest of minds. He was so modest. For someone who so often played these characters who were so complacent and self-ag grandising, Bremner told Radio 4's The World at One. He was at the forefront of the satire boom. He had the most wonderful of minds and was the most modest of people. He was amazing. Bremner, Bird and Fortune ran for 16 series. As well as one-off specials, between 1999 and 2008, and was nominated for several BAFTA TV awards. N. One of Bird and Fortune's most famous recurring sketches, known as the Long Johns, one of the two Johns, either Bird or Fortune, would portray a senior figure from public life. Being interviewed by the other John, in the set piece, the fictional businessman, government consultant or bumbling politician, who always went by the name of George Parr, would be skewered by the increasingly exasperated interviewer. During an appearance on Desert Island Discs in 2004, Fortune said it had been very difficult to keep a straight face during his and Bird's many, largely improvised, two-handers. In a statement released earlier, Bremner called seeing Bird and fellow star John Fortune working together the highlight of his life and he would marvel at the genius of it all. He added it was striking, Bird had died on Christmas Eve, nine years, almost to the day after Fortune, who died on New Year's Eve in 2013, aged 74. Lord knows. Satire has missed them this last decade, and now that lost... Oh, John plays a Eurosceptic and saying, well, I, I don't like the word xenophobic because it's a Greek word, and I detest, <laughs> I detest the Greeks. You're a, a senior policy advisor at number 10. I am, yes. Could you, could you take us through some of the issues involved? I think the first thing to say is that the single European currency is the most important and the most agonising uh, dilemma to have faced any British government uh, since Grandma caught her tits in the mangle. <laughs>